Hi you guys, today I am filming here actually in my kitchen because it's better lighting than my bathroom but we are filming a video of me doing my everyday makeup look by popular request so thanks to you guys for all of your suggestions they've really um, been a huge help. With being a mom to a little one year old just having you know busy lives like a lot of us do and also uh, being a nurse where I go in a couple nights a week where I'm gone all through the night I just want makeup that is going to last all day that's quick to put on and makes me feel like I got ready and so this is what I do to feel like I'm somewhat put together as the day goes on and we go throughout our busy life. So what I start with first is my Vital C. It's an hydrating anti-aging serum from Image Skin Care. For me living in Utah my skin gets really dry here and so I use things that are more hydrating versus things that are, you know, like drying for people who have oily skin. So this one you may just need to get a different type of product if you have oily skin. But for dry skin it's great and um, anti-aging, so preventative. After I do that I use this Intense Brightening Eye Cream and this is also by Image Skin Care. I seriously love this brand of product. It's just really good quality, smells amazing and I really feel like I notice a difference in my skin. You know, there is a, some things you can buy at the drugstore, which I did for most of my life, and then just recently in the past year, I've started using better skincare products, and I feel like I really notice the difference. So this intense brightening eye cream just helps me with those dark circles under my eyes. Also, I wanted to show you guys, I'm not gonna use this today because I usually let this sit for five minutes, but this stuff right here by um, Dermalogica is amazing for moms with bags under your eyes. This stuff's a little bit more expensive, but it really does work and you just put a little bit on the, you squeeze a little bit out and you just rub it underneath your eyes. And I do that when I work night shifts also. When I wake up in the morning, I put this on and it really gets rid of those bags under your eyes in about five minutes. So then after that, I have my Nyla Age Defense Hydrating Cream. Everyone always wants like a really good moisturizer to put underneath their makeup. So I use just a little bit of this every morning. A little bit goes a long way. And again, it's a hydrating cream because my skin gets really dry. Put that all over and then it also helps my foundation spread out so I don't have to use as much. Then after that, I have been using some of the mascara products that you guys I'm sure have heard about or heard me talk about before. I kind of use it a little bit differently than maybe most people, but I start and I just use a little bit because the color is really good to put underneath my eyes to get rid of those darker circles, but I don't use this all over my face. I just use it underneath my eyes and on my little problem areas just to give me a little bit more coverage. And that's about it with um, that color there. And then I have been using this Wander Beauty, and this is their Wanderlust powder foundation. And it is so great, I love it. And I use the light color. Um, I used to never use like a powder form foundation. I just never tried it and just didn't really ever know of any good ones. Um, but I've been using this one lately and I love it. I feel like it helps me get rid of like all those red areas and problem areas and like it's weird because when it goes on you can't tell that it's powder like I felt like it would have been really chalky or like I don't know like dusty looking on my face and would like wipe off or like blow off with the wind <laughs> but it's not it actually like stays on really good and I can keep it on all day and all night because I'm a nurse and I work during the night I usually have my makeup already done during the day and so this one will stay on like all day and then through my night shift until the next morning. And you can start light so people who don't like as much coverage can just kind of do like a quick sweep through their face or if you need or like more coverage then you just kind of build it up which, what, which is what I do. And then I feel like up close you can't like even though it looks like I'm adding a lot right now I feel like you can't tell up close like that it's a thick layer. It just still looks like kind of silky smooth when it's on. And then after that, and this is stuff that I do every morning and this only really takes me like five minutes when I'm doing it, which I like because it's easy, but I feel like it looks like I spent more time on it. So then I use this darker contour color to give my face a little bit of that contour look. 
I just go from the tip of my ear down towards the corner of my mouth. Just gonna give a little bit more of a touch up up here real quick. Okay, and then with that, I also go just kind of around my face. I know a lot of people will do a little bit more. I usually just kind of keep it simple with the contour. Um, and then I use that same brush that I just used and the same palette and I get a little bit of this pink blush and just kind of go up. Follow the same line that I did with the contour. I usually kind of put it on strong because then I use this beauty blender sponge which I think everyone needs because it just kind of tones it down and helps blend those colors together. Just gonna dab it along that same area. I don't get it wet or anything, I just use it dry. And then I also go up top around the forehead too. Also in that same palette, I love that I can just have everything like together in one. I use this color and um, this highlighter. I just put it on my finger and kind of go along up above where I went with my blush and kind of overlap a little bit. And then after that, it's kind of like the main part of it, I do my eyebrows. So I haven't had my eyebrows microbladed or anything yet, so I just fill them in myself. And I don't know if you, if you guys have tried, but this is the Brow Food brand to, for your eyebrows. It has like a liner to outline it and then like a powder fill to fill it in. And this stuff has been so good. Um, I'm like right at the end of it, so hopefully I can get enough out for this video. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just kind of lining the outer edge of my eyebrows. And then I use the powder, just like a little brush that's in there. And I use that just to kind of fill that in. I feel like it makes such a big difference whether your brows are done or not. My husband maybe won't notice, but I definitely do, and I think it's a big, big part of your makeup. So right now I can't really raise my eyebrows very much because I just got Botox last week over at Form Spa for an event, and so it has been kind of my forehead frozen a little bit right now. So it's really hard to put on my eyebrows. So I'm not huge into gloss for an everyday look just because the wind blows, it gets in your, sticks to your lips. And I love a good nude color for my everyday look. So I use this Anastasia brand and it's, mil it's called Milkshake. It's a liquid lipstick and it goes matte. So I use this, say like five out of the seven days a week. After I do that, that is pretty much it, and um, I really don't do much touching up throughout the day. It's kind of like once I get that few minutes in, a mor in the morning when Nixon's sleeping to just throw something on, it goes on, and that's why I just love products that are a little bit better quality that you do have to maybe spend just a little bit more on, but to me it just makes a huge difference in the long run because I only have to put it on that one time quick in the morning and then I'm good to go to run my errands throughout the whole day and can just and not have to worry about my makeup coming off because um, I just don't have time to touch it up after that. So anyways, um, that is everything. That is literally what I do every single morning. Oh, I also forgot to tell you guys, I do have, I don't do anything with my eyes right now because I did get eyelash extensions, which I've been wearing for a while, which also I love because I feel like I'm, on days I can't even do my makeup, I feel like I'm still somewhat put together with eyelashes on. So with my eyelashes that I currently have, I don't use eyeliner or mascara or anything on them. But normally if I didn't have them, I would put a little bit of liquid eyeliner and some mascara on as well. 
But um, that's everything that I've been doing right now. And if you guys have any other questions, then let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching us and for supporting our YouTube channel. We really appreciate your likes and your comments. Um, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure you do so below. Also, if you do like this video, give it a thumbs up or comment below. And we look forward to having you guys watch the rest of our videos. Thanks.